Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about my experience with getting a hysteroscopy and I got it yesterday um, and it hurt a lot more than I thought it would. When I first got to the doctor's office, I went up to the counter and the receptionist gave me two prescriptions to go get filled downstairs in the pharmacy that's in the same building and so I got one Percocet and one Valium to take and so I was like oh yeah I get to take both Percocet and Valium at the same time I didn't think that it's because I'm gonna be in a lot of pain later but um, so we did that and I talked to our IVF coordinator because uh, she went over our upcoming cycle and um, she gave me a packet and so I have a big packet of stuff I need to look through and um, then she told Peter to go sit out in the waiting room and she took me into this room with a table, I guess. One of those, you know, the normal tables in doctor's offices. And she's like, uh, I guess I was wearing a dress. And so she told me to just like undress from underneath it. And so um, I sat down on the table and waited about five minutes for her to come back in with the doctor and then the ultrasound tech came in too and so it was a pretty quick process but it seemed like a long time because it was uncomfortable so they did the whole speculum thing the big metal thing that they put in it's like nah. first and then he said he was taking a swab or something of DNA from my cervix. I'm not quite sure what he did. And then he did a trial transfer to um, map out the path to get into my uterus. And he used a catheter to do that. And so now he knows how to get into my uterus for the actual transfer day of my embryos. And then he used the catheter uh, to put saline solution into my uterus and he put a camera in there and that's where it started to really hurt and um, It was like really bad cramps and a lot of pressure and so when he got in there You could it was weird. I wish I could have taken a video, but I didn't even ask but, um, When he first got in there, I think there was a polyp towards the front of my uterus and then they were looking around and then there was another polyp where my tube would be and so they he scraped out those two polyps and that really hurt and it was like really bad cramps and a lot of pressure and i was holding the nurse's hand and um it just it hurt pretty bad and i was like moaning in pain and it was just not fun and then it and then he was just done it took probably five ten minutes for the whole thing and then he left the room and the nurse was just like uh, if you sit up it will help with some of the cramping because it'll make the saline solution come out and so I sat up and the saline saline solution came out in like one big gush it was like whoosh. I continued to cramp um, probably for another half hour and then I really felt the meds kick in and so I don't know if I should have taken the medicine a little bit before I went into the appointment or if it was just the cramps went away and then I could feel the actual effects of the medicine but it was it was pretty quick and I had two polyps and so I don't know if I've had those the whole time because I had a saline sonogram during our last IVF round and there wasn't anything in my uterus like polyps or fibroids. So I don't know if those polyps have been in there or if the polyps developed because of the last IVF circle or they've developed since the last IVF circle, cycle, whatever, last IVF cycle. I'm glad that I did the hysteroscopy instead of a saline sonogram because I would have had those polyps that were in there removed anyway. So a good thing that he just went ahead and did the hysteroscopy but that was my experience so I had a hysteroscopy yesterday it was the first time I ever had it and it does hurt so if you have to get one of those sorry
I don't know what to tell you. Maybe take the medicine before you go to your appointment so it has time to kick in. After the appointment, I cramped for a little while and then I just was groggy and kind of angry, probably from the medicine. And then I took a little nap and I felt normal after that. And I feel normal today, the day after, and I can probably do, they didn't say to be on bed rest or anything. So I felt fine like a couple hours after. So if you have to get one, it will be okay, but it might hurt a little bit, but you'll feel better afterwards. And so that's what's going on. Um, I did find out that I start the IVF stems on April 26th. And so I have to go in on the 24th on a Friday to have my baseline ultrasound because the 26th is a Sunday. But it's getting real because that's in, that is this month, and I guess it's in a little bit more than three weeks, I think. Maybe it's a little bit less than four weeks, <laughs> but that's what's going on. Uh, I am going to attempt to do VEDA this month, with, and uh, if you're like, wait, what? What's VEDA? VEDA is a video every day in April or August. People usually do it in August, but I'm going to do it in April. And so I'm going to try to put a video out every day this month. And so today is April 1st, and this is my first video. But uh, yeah, so that's what's going on. I will keep you guys updated about IVF. And yeah, talk to you guys in my next video, which probably should be tomorrow. Maybe if I can do it. <laughs> All right, well, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.